can't believe I had to say this, but, but unfortunately, I had to talk about Tickle You. <sighs> I'm Taj the Random Fan, and we're looking bad to see how Tickle You get to be and why did it flop. Tickle You is a failed, screwed weekday morning preschool blog that aired on the Cartoon Network and aired briefly on its sister channel, Boomerang, featuring domestic foreign imported series targeted at preschoolers aged children. It was created and was set to compete with Nickelodeon and Disney, Playhouse Disney and Nick Jr. Who had gotten airtime dedicated to air preschool shows. So Carson Hour thought it best to make a preschool block that is filled with educational, but not. Parents were concerned about this, and the entire block had been panned by viewers. Now I'm gonna tell y'all some shows that aired on Tickle You. Yeah. I think Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. I have to tell you a few shows. There is Firehouse Tales. That came on Tickle You on Cartoon Network. There's Gerald McBoing Boing. Oh my god. Gordon the Garden Gnome. Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs. Um. Little robots. Peppa Pig. Oh my god, we already know about that show on Nick Jr. and Nickelodeon. Uh, Yoko Jamoko Toto. Huh, oh, I've never seen that. And especially we have Baby Looney Tunes. Oh, but now, oh! Executives at Cartoon Network thought it was a good idea to make this block so it would compete with Nickelodeon and Disney who both got Nick Jr. and Playhouse Disney. The block debuted in August 22nd, 2005 and then it ended in, in early 2007. I had never seen Tickle You before so I have no idea why would Cartoon Network be trying to mock off preschoolers in the first place. I mean, what the actual... I can't say it. What the actual... Gain hug. To be honest, Cartoon had done a stupid thing to, like, I don't know. You know, make a preschool blog about, I don't know, laughing humor or something like that. Thankfully, Cartoon Network discontinued Tickle You, so they ain't trying that again, and, they're, and it's not going to compete with Nickelodeon and Disney ever again. But yet, their next attempt was CM Real, a Wednesday night block of live action shows, and they already eliminated and discontinued that block, thank goodness. And so, Cartoon Network is digging itself a hole, I mean, all over. So, but the good thing is we got Nick Jr. and Playhouse Disney, now known as Disney Jr. But according to some people, they think Nickelodeon and Disney are digging themselves out of a hole, so I don't think that's true. For Nickelodeon, um, they wanted to try something new by partnering with Smart Study. I think they wanted to try something new, and that's alright, because there's nothing wrong with trying something new. Think about how CBS announced the partnership with D.I.C.K., Deke Entertainment. As for Cartoon Network, it is hit and miss. Because I think it's trying to, like, make fun of us or something like that. But I'm really, like been very confused. Everyone else is kind of very confused. Myself included. Why would there be preschool content on the Cartoon Network in the first place? Think about why would there be live action content on the Cartoon Network in the first place? I know. Peppa Pig is a cartoon. Well, kinda. And some of the shows on Tickle You are 
sort of cartoon-like. We have Baby Looney Tunes. Oh my gosh, it's very cartoon-like as well. But that's not my point! So, I am not... I am not liking how Cartoon Network has fallen in its prime. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of Tickle You? Was it stupid? Or did you remember that in your childhood? Let me know. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.